okay so uh, let us start good morning to all <coughs> okay so in the next uh, in the previous class we have discussed about the cartesian coordinate system so till now we had uh, two classes okay two lectures so in those two lectures hello i'm audible yes sir okay so in those two lectures we have discussed about the uh, basics of the vectors and basic of the uh, coordinate systems okay and uh, we have completed our discussion with the cartesian coordinate system okay so that means uh, we have seen that there are three axes okay uh, <laughs> x axis y axis and z axis all are perpendicular to each other and uh, this uh, how to locate a point and how to locate a vector you using uh, the unit vectors of the axis we have seen now in today's lecture we will uh, go for the second coordinate system okay let me share my screen some network issue so it is taking a little bit more time let me leave and again join there is some network issue i cannot share my screen
and now is it visible yes sir okay okay so sorry for the delay so uh, today we will be discussing about the uh, second coordinate system that is the cylindrical coordinate system so now cylindrical coordinate system as i've just given you a uh, one line description that these coordinate systems are being uh, formed as if the whole universe is shape of that particular system that means in rectangular coordinate system we assume that the whole universe which is three dimensional in our human eye is actually in the shape shape of a rectangle okay uh that is why we had three axes okay and the points uh, that means the axis limit were infinite infinite that is it, it was it was ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity okay now in cylindrical coordinate system we will assume that the in whole universe is a shape of a cylinder okay that means we are enclosed in a cylinder suppose we you, you assume a cylinder cylinder means like a you can say cylindrical object okay that means like this it is having two surfaces top and bottom and having some height okay now imagine a three dimensional cylindrical object like this okay and you have a point anywhere it can be within or on the surface or inside the particular cylinder anywhere if you have a point p so how will you locate it it won't be located by using that x y z coordinate okay so it it's locate its method of locating a point on the inside a cylinder or on the surface of a cylinder is different compared to a coordinate cartesian coordinate system or a rectangular coordinate system okay so cylindrical coordinate system assumes that the point is inside a cylinder so how will you locate the point in in the in visualizing the point is inside a cylinder now to do that it is quite bit critical okay for the beginning to understand so generally how did the mathematician or the scientist come uh, to it basically the first coordinate system which was developed simple one we have already studied that is the cartesian one which is also called rectangular coordinate system from that coordinate system some transformations have been made and then the cylindrical coordinate system has been formed so basically whenever we have to understand cylindrical coordinate system we have to draw with respect to cartesian that means we will have cartesian in reference okay so this image is not proper let me okay suppose we have a our cartesian coordinate system okay this is x this is y this is z okay Uh, these are axes these are vectors direction so they are magnitude do not matter it can be extended up to infinity whatever so and we have minus minus z <coughs> downwards we have minus y on the left and we have minus x backwards okay so for simplicity i am not showing this one okay it will be confusing just as you know that we have this negative axis also it exists okay now since we are drawing a point locating a point on the cylindrical coordinate system suppose uh, i take this point somewhere over here okay having a high some height uh, suppose it is located over over here point p okay point p so how to locate it in cartesian coordinate system we have x axis y axis and z axis so we have x coordinate y coordinate z coordinate in cylindrical coordinate system we have rho phi and z see we have rho phi and z and it looks like this okay so let me explain it to you because this is in the in the form of our notes okay so let me explain Uh, how we are getting this okay so suppose this is a point p so this z coordinate is common z axis is common okay both the uh, coordinate system have this z so what we will do we will since it is z is common so z axis is common so z axis belongs to the 
both cartesian coordinate system as well as the cylindrical coordinate system this is the origin okay so we will measure the height so this is the height okay height okay so now since z is common we are getting the height now <coughs> first first coordinate is the rho what is rho for finding out finding a rho find rho means the measurement of this particular point p to the perpendicular of the z that means we are measuring the height at what height it is situated from the x y plane that is the value of z that means we are drawing a perpendicular line okay and we get this z point okay value of z height now this distance from here to here this is called rho okay this is called rho why because using this okay using this value we will draw a circle like this taking r as a rho as radius taking rho as the radius we will draw this particular circle and we will draw a dotted line also on the xy plane okay this is xy plane and we will also locate and we will also draw the same circle on the xy plane also okay as if this is actually mirror image and we will extend it that means we will draw a cylinder we will draw a cylinder okay that means this as if this point p okay don't get confused because this is rho okay uh, greek alphabet rho let, let me write it properly rho okay now this green symbol is p okay so p is the point point is located over here now as if the point p lies on the surface of a cylinder so we have drawn a cylinder now this particular cylinder okay uh, rather uh, i think i would redraw it once again because wait so this should be on the origin like this yes okay okay now uh, this is the cylinder now point p point p is located somewhere over here so someone has joined now. okay <clears throat> so point p uh, is located over here now uh, this row so what we will do we will draw the mirror image of row also like this suppose row is over here this line is over here so point p the mirror image is over here okay this is point p so point p dash same reflection so we can see we are drawing a line like this now if point p was over here at this point suppose this is another point q so we would draw like this q q dash this point suppose this point is say w so we would draw w okay so on this surface okay we have we have we can anywhere we can have a point so point p is over here so p is having this particular location so p could have been over here also here also anywhere so there is a 360 degree angle that is you are circling you are taking a walk across a park okay and the park is a shape of a circle so you are rotating at a 360 degree 
you're traveling actually as if you are uh, revolving around the pole so this point p can revolve around the origin anywhere it can look it can lie so how to locate because suppose you have the height with you but how to locate this point is over here if the point is over here at w then how will you understand for that the second coordinate is used which is phi phi means the angle which this line because point p means what you will draw the mirror image okay point p dash now this length radius is equals to this radius because same cylindrical both the surfaces are same radius so this line what is the angle it is making with respect to x axis this angle is called phi if the point is over here okay q then angle would be smaller so at p is having more value of pi than compared to q and w w you have to measure like this because you have to start from x axis you cannot go on the other opposite if in the opposite if you go suppose opposite angle is minus 30 degree so it is equals to 330 degree this is known to you minus 30 degree means 330 degree okay so same thing you have to count from here you have to count or to measure the angle from here you have to rot revolve rotate or uh, revolve actually so you will uh, lie you will end up over here so to measure the angle so what is phi phi is the angle which is radius makes with respect to the x axis so now we have the three coordinates we have rho rho is the radius of the circle that means anywhere you have a point you will just draw the line perpendicular to the z axis what you will get first of all what happens you get the third coordinate first you have the value of z then you have the value of rho because once you are drawing the line you have the value of rho radius then you draw the circle and draw the cylinder and you take the mirror image of the line rho on the xy plane because xy plane you have to take without xy plane you cannot draw the uh, xy that means without the cartesian coordinate system you cannot point out or draw the cylindrical coordinate system so cartesian coordinate system has to be taken as reference okay now the rho that is the radius you will just draw the mirror image and the angle it makes with the x axis is the angle phi so now you have the three coordinates rho radius okay then phi angle then z now if you say then uh, why we are what if a point is over here located over here somewhere over here okay point suppose t so what we will do we will draw a perpendicular line so we have this height z okay we will draw a cylinder circle like this so it will be a bigger cylinder as if it is lying on a bigger cylinder and we will see that mirror image we are drawing the mirror image like this so what angle sorry it will be over here okay so what angle it is making with respect to x axis we will have the value of phi okay so from here you will have a better idea okay now you can understand this figure i think the so first of all we draw the cartesian coordinate system we have this point p over here so what we will do we will draw the perpendicular line with respect to z now we have the height with us this is the height okay now this is the radius rho okay so now we have rho with us and z with us this z now we will draw the mirror image and we will see what angle it is making with respect to x we have phi so now we have the three coordinates so rho phi and z now what about the axis in cartesian we have z x axis y axis z axis what about the axis we have located the point of p in cylindrical coordinate system what what about the axis axis ka kya hoga axis hona chahiye na because without the axis you will not be able to locate a vector because without the axis you will not have unit vectors so axis will be first of all z axis is common so since z is common so you will have the z axis same as we have seen for the cartesian coordinate system so it is upwards this is this is a unit vector z it is upwards okay 
rho will be you will draw the suppose point p is over here so you are drawing the perpendicular line from p to z now if you extend this line then it is the axis okay <coughs> so now you can understand this rho axis is not fixed it is changing why because if the point p was lying over here suppose this is point p so this was the row radius so the axis would have been this one but since the point p is lying over here the axis is directed towards this particular path or this direction it is pointed towards this direction so unlike cartesian coordinate system where x y z axis were fixed in cylindrical coordinate system okay row axis is not fixed it depends upon the location of the point but it will always be perpendicular to z axis because z axis is common because z axis lies in the cartesian uh, cartesian coordinate system so since it is common with cylindrical so it is fixed but rho axis will be lying perpendicular to z but it can vary its direction but it will always be perpendicular isko jahan bhi dalo ya yahan par dalo is bhi perpendicular rahega yahan pe dalo ye bhi perpendicular rahega everywhere it is perpendicular now comes phi so this is rho this is z phi means what you have to do what uh, how you are locating phi you take this radius you take the mirror image put it over here now get the angle now you draw this particular plane this plane you can see it is like a plane now this plane should be perpendicular to uh, uh, this plane okay so draw a line perpendicular to the plane perpendicular to the plane okay perpendicular why because this plane okay is actually uh, means uh, drawn with respect to the row so row axis so this plane is within the row axis if you draw a perpendicular line okay because angle means what it is making an angle over here if the angle is 30 degree the plane is over here if the angle is 60 degree the plane would have been behind like this somewhere over here so in that case the row axis will be different so perpendicular line gives you the row axis you need vector row that is this is the row axis so that means if i redraw it once again suppose this is the cartesian coordinate system sorry x y z so your cylindrical coordinate system would be based on the point suppose this is the point this is z okay and this would be rho and this would be your phi unit vector okay unit vector got it so these are the three axes okay you can see this particular animation okay with the help of a gif you can see a cylinder is forming is it visible is it is it in motion you can see yes sir okay you can see there is a small cylinder which is increasing in size okay so the green is the cylinder so its size is increasing okay so its size is increasing means it is expanding so that means the radius is increasing okay so radius is increasing means it is actually the value of rho value of rho so if the rho increases it will the cylinder size will increase so can you tell what will be the limit of the rho will it be minus infinity to plus infinity or something else so zero to infinity sir exactly it is zero to infinity good so it is zero to infinity because a radius starts from zero and it extends to infinity now the red color the red color plane you can see it is rotating why it is rotating because it is the axis of the row that is the row uh, sorry a phi sorry 
phi axis that means uh, if i start it is starting from here okay so that means if i draw a line like this so it is directed over here now if it is changing its position it is directed over here if it is changing its position like this it is directed over here okay so it keeps on changing because depending upon the point where it lies its direction changes so can you tell me what is the limit because it is just the rotation it is rotating sir 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi yes it is from 0 to 2 pi that means 360 degree it is rotating 360 degree and z will be same it will be minus mv2 plus infinity okay this is the another way of representing it okay this is the from the uh, little bit from the top view so different images i have i am trying to show this is the xyz plane this is the point p so you draw the radius rho I take the rho and you draw the cylinder but cylinder not important over here because our target is to locate the value of phi so you draw the plane this one draw the mirror image and see what angle it is making with respect to x axis okay so yes now you can see rho is from uh, greater than or equals to 0 to less than or equals to infinity phi is greater than or equals to 0 to less than or equals to 2 pi and z is from minus mv to plus infinity now similarly code now uh, locating a point you have understood now how to locate a vector same way we have seen for cartesian coordinate system we have to apply the same method okay in cartesian coordinate system one second okay now it is charging okay okay the same way you have seen for the cartesian coordinate system okay so here also we have a vector so a vector will be having the three axes because this one is also a axis Wait. this image okay so these are the axis so these are the unit vectors so any particular vector can lie on any one axis or any two axis together or having all the three axes so similarly a vector can be represented a vector a in cylindrical coordinate system can be represented or can be written as like this these are the coordinates and this is the form of a vector so the coefficient of rho okay the coordinate of rho actually the coordinate of rho unit vector rho plus coordinate of phi unit vector phi plus coordinate of z unit vector z okay now how to find the magnitude magnitude is very easy similar to cartesian also the magnitude will be root over of summation of the square of all okay this will give you the magnitude of the vector but total vector is represented like this Now once again the relationship between the different coordinates uh, axis will be same because similar to Cartesian coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system also the coordinate system is right handed orthogonal so all the axes are perpendicular to each other okay so that means if you take the dot vector uh, sorry dot product of any particular axis with itself you will get one and if you take a cross product of with an axis with itself it will get one a dot product you will get zero now the dot product you will get one and a cross, cross product you will get zero okay cross product you will get zero and the dot product with one vector with another vector you will get zero and cross product with one vector that means one particular uh, axis with another axis you will get the third axis the third unit vector okay same thing sim similar okay because both are right angle triangle uh, right angle uh, perpendicular to, to each other orthogonal shaped now coming to differential length and differential volume similar to the cartesian coordinate system which we have seen in cylindrical coordinate system also we will have this 
डिफरेंशियल लेंथ डिफरेंशियल वॉल्यूम कॉन्सेप्ट ओके हाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन आई कैन एक्सप्लेन ओवर हेयर दर इज स्पेस suppose we have this uh, we are representing the cartesian coordinate system like this okay but uh, okay this is z this is x this is y now you have a point p okay now point p for point p you can locate it like this this is rho this is rho okay this is z okay. suppose i draw in this way that will be easier for you Suppose it is over here. Okay, this is z, this length. So what we do? We will draw mirror image. This is phi. So this angle is uh, phi. So it is making this plane is making an angle phi with respect to x-axis. Okay. So now you have another point, q. <coughs> Q is somewhere over here. Q. So you draw a line like this. You know, draw the perpendicular line. Okay. You know, join the axis and take the mirror image. So this is rho two. Okay. And this height is greater z two, and this angle is also greater phi two. That means point Q is located at a particular means uh, it is being located somewhere, which is far away from P. And to reach that point, you have to increase the coordinates, or you have to for for reaching that point, okay. you have to step forward so you cannot directly jump from p to q so how can you proceed you have to proceed in this way that you have to similar to the cartesian coordinate system you have to proceed in all the three coordinates one by one and then you can reach q so first of all you have to increase the radius then angle then the height that means you have to increase the radius so suppose if you increase the radius now you are parallel to rho 2 then you increase the angle by some angle because this angle is a difference suppose this is delta q del, del sorry delta phi so this is delta phi okay then this height is delta z this is you are reaching it over here so as if you are making an arch like this some are arch like this okay so you are extending it over here then over here and then over here so this is delta rho then delta phi then delta z so in so slowly for each coordinate you are increasing by some step so that is being shown over here in delta z they are writing dz okay so see this is point p okay so similarly this is point p this one this is point p and this is point q okay so to reach q first of all this measurement this is rho okay this is rho the radius rho this is the mirror image rho 
but point p is a uh, point q is somewhere away from it so you have to extend it extend it so this is d rho extra so q is having the radius rho plus d rho this entire one rho plus d rho okay then after that this angle which rho is making the point p is making is phi but q is making an angle okay it is over here so this angle is greater so this additional angle is d phi so you have to increase by some angle d phi okay you have to increase by some angle d phi then you have to increase by a height because this was the height of p z now this is the height of q so this additional height is dz okay so this is so one second i am just showing you that this is d rho this is angle is d phi and height is dz so it is being written over here d rho is written okay dz is shown over here dz now one thing you can see this is d phi but this is written as rho d phi can anyone say why it is written over here rho d phi not d phi because d phi is this angle but this length is rho d phi can anyone can anyone uh, answer this uh, question why it is written rho d phi yes sir is why sir uh, theta is equal to r theta ha ha l by r Uh, I can understand this symbol. So I you give the total uh, actual definition. What is L? What is R? So, sir, angle is equal to length by radius. Length by radius. Which length? This arc length, sir. Arc length. Arc length. Arc. So this yes, is sir. yes, good. So this is arc. So this is called the arc. So arc is always equals to. So that means if I draw geometrically. So if I draw it geometrically, suppose. Uh, Okay, so here we have space. So I'm just showing over here. Suppose you have an angle like this. Okay, angle. Suppose this is theta. Okay. So this length and this length will be not be equal. This length is smaller. This length is bigger. Obviously, why? Because from the origin, it is having a radius of r1 and it is having a radius of R two, so this length, arc length is equals to R one theta, and this length is equals to R two theta. This is called arc length. Okay, angle into the radius. Radius means the length actually. So here also. Okay, so here what we are doing, we are drawing this particular length from here. Suppose this we are only extending. uh this part okay so we are taking this one so why that is why we are taking only this part okay so since d phi suppose d or d rho d rho is very small okay it is very small value that is why we are take telling that the arc length is rho d rho d phi okay actually the arc length would have been rho plus d rho into d phi isn't it but we are saying that rho plus d rho is almost equals to rho okay because this is very small so we that is why we are neglecting that we are writing rho d phi okay so this arc length is rho d phi this one same thing okay almost equal so this arc length this arc length but main difference comes with this particular height and this radius uh, also okay so as a whole this increment is very small that is why we are talking about this this is d phi this is rho uh, sorry this is d rho this is phi d phi so rho d phi and this is dz height is dz okay hence this total length displacement that means from point p to point q when we are reaching we are traveling across the all coordinates okay so it is d rho unit vector rho plus d 
phi d phi into vector phi plus dz into vector z. Okay. Now differential elements, area elements. Area elements means the different areas. Okay, the area we we have. That means this is one surface. Okay, because here we can see this one uh, image shown over here. Okay, so this particular fragment has been taken. So each surface has been pointed out. Here we are talking about dz and uh, rho d phi. That means this surface. This surface. So this surface, what will be the area? This one multiplied by this one. And perpendicular line will be this one. Perpendicular, that means the, vector, uh, that means the uh, resultant vector will be perpendicular, perpendicular to the surface. So what is their axis? Unit vector rho. Because this is, this means it is unit vector phi. And this is unit vector z. So cross product will give you unit vector rho because area means cross product. Okay, so that is why you will have unit vector rho. Similarly, okay, so uh, yes, so product will be rho d phi dz unit vector rho. Now, if you take this particular surface, Wait, uh, this is being uh, is a mistake. Dz. Okay, so this is uh, one second. Yeah, this is wrong. This is not this one. This is actually this one. This one should be written. Dz should be written. So this this dz. So d rho dz means this surface. Okay. So this area will be d rho into dz, and unit vector will be perpendicular. So it is unit vector phi. Okay, and last one is d rho phi d phi. That means the top, top and bottom surface. Perpendicular axis is z axis. Okay, so these are the areas. Okay, so you have to take the surface area of the three different surfaces because top and bottom are same, side will be same, and front and back will be same so we have to take either the top and we have to take the top your side and the front if that way it is being calculated okay and the differential volume will be the product of all the increments that is d rho into rho d phi into dz okay this is the volume Understood? Any doubt, any question from this part? Anyone with a question you can raise? Okay. Because this is very similar to what we have seen from the previous, uh, that means from the Cartesian coordinate system. It is quite similar. Isn't it? Sir. Yes. Please. If question will come, uh, then uh, these data will given and uh, we we have to find differential area and volume. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be given. We will provide it. Okay. Okay, so uh, now what we have, there is a transformation. Okay, so I will just show you the transformation from point, any particular point in Cartesian coordinate system to the cylindrical and vice versa. So there is a transformation for vector also. Okay, so vect for vector we will be transforming the unit vectors also. Okay, so that is why we will not. Uh, discuss that one over here. So I will only show you the transformation between the Cartesian and the cylindrical coordinates. So 
So that means any point. Suppose locating a point, point P is over here. So that point P is in the anywhere in the space in the universe. So you can locate that point with respect to exact uh, with respect to Cartesian coordinate system also, or with respect to cylindrical coordinate system also. Same point because the point is not moving anywhere. This fixed. Okay, the point is fixed, but on the from the viewpoint of Cartesian coordinate system, we will have some coordinates, but on the viewpoint of cylindrical coordinate system, we will we can locate it. We will have some different coordinates, but the point P is fixed. That means any point it can have coordinates of Cartesian also. And same point, it is not moving anywhere. It is uh, staying at the same point. It can be represented by the cylindrical coordinate system also. So both are equal. Now, what is the relationship? It is quite easy because we have already derived the cylindrical coordinate system with respect to Cartesian. See, Z is common. Okay. Now, rho. If you see the rho value, rho was obtained by drawing the perpendicular with respect to Z axis. Okay. If I extend it downward, this is rho, the radius with which we have the cylinder. We draw the cylinder like this. We draw the cylinder. Okay. So now, uh, remember that we always imagine that the cylinder, which is drawn, the point lies on the surface, on the top, on the surface. Okay. Now this row, if you see, if it is dissect or you can, it is bisecting this particular x-axis, y-axis. Okay. So if this is x and this is y, and they are perpendicular to each other. Okay. And if you extend this particular line, let me draw it, that will be easier. If you extend it like this, okay. So this is 90 degree, isn't it? This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, isn't it? You agree? Okay. X, Y is, is 90 degree, then this will also be 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. Now, if I take this triangle, that means this is a right angle triangle because this angle is phi, this is phi, and this is some angle not required, okay. But this is a 90 degree angle, so it is a right angle triangle. So we know that this is the right angle triangle, so as if this is the base, this is the height perpendicular line this is the hypotenuse so rho is the hypotenuse so it is like this where rho is the hypotenuse base is x okay so what will be y y is this one okay this is y this is y okay because this length is equals to this length because see point p if i forget about uh, the uh, cylindrical coordinate system मालूम सिलेंडर कोर्स सिस्टम नहीं है सिर्फ कार्टिशन है तो इस पॉइंट का लोकेशन क्या होगा कार्टिशन के हिसाब से यू विल ड्रॉ दिस सेम परपेंडिकुलर लाइन ओवर हेयर मिरर इमेज यू विल सी वेयर इट इस कटिंग एक्स एक्सिस दैट इस दी एक्स वैल्यू वेयर इट इस कटिंग वाई एक्सिस इट इस दी वाई वैल्यू Use the different color that will be easier for you. I will not take too much time. Okay, this is a 90 degree. Okay. Okay. Only concentrate about the Cartesian coordinate system. So point P is in the Cartesian coordinate. So what we do? We draw this line over here. We look at point P dash. We measure that it is x coordinate and this is y coordinate. So this is the x value. This is the y value this one okay and height is z so now we have the value of x y z Cartesian coordinate system complete locating the point using Cartesian coordinate system is complete now you extend this draw this line okay you draw this line now what happens this is already 90 degree so you frame this particular right angle triangle okay this right angle triangle is obtained okay so now this right angle triangle as if that this is x value, this is value of x already and this is value of y, 
this value is uh, equals to y so this is equals to this so this is y so now if this is rho then we from uh, this particular right angle triangle from Pythagoras theorem we can make out it like this uh, this is the right angle triangle this is phi okay so if this is rho so x will be rho cos theta or cos phi y is rho sin phi so y is rho sin phi x is rho cos phi okay as it is said that means if you have a point p and the values are given in cylindrical then you can find out you can transform into cartesian that means if the point is having value of say 3 30 degree 7 so that particular point can be transformed into cylinder cartesian coordinate system by just taking 3 30 degree so 3 cos 30 degree the value is x value then 3 sin 30 degree it is y and 7 will be 7 this is the way of transforming a point from cylindrical to cartesian and cartesian to cylindrical also same from here also we can understand because if x is equals to rho cos phi and y is equals to rho sin phi then rho is equals to root over of x square plus y square okay and phi is equals to tan inverse of y by x and z is z so any point in cartesian coordinate system can be transformed back to cylindrical coordinate system understood this part any doubt or any question you have not understood or something so have you got this yes sir okay so in the next class we will discuss about this vector okay transformation of vector later okay okay so then thank you then for today i am just thank completing you. my lecture over here up to here okay thank you sir okay thank you sir